collection. We are launching, we launched yesterday and we have it again today at the big deal price. It is the quilted barn jacket with a faux suede trim. The color you're seeing on our model is evergreen. We have sold out two colors already. Unfortunately, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but we have three, my favorite three colors are remaining. Uh, the uh, evergreen, which you saw in our model. We also have a beautiful, and I'll just lean in, I happen to have, well, there's our black, which I think might be the sold out color. Um, Carrie, I'm gonna defer to you. But uh, if we have that, that is the black with the, with the, the brown suede uh, piping. Um, I actually am holding the crimson color in my hand, and that is a crimson that is piped with that beautiful navy blue suede. And I'll just really quick reach in and show you all of the linings will be matching to the suede trim. And all of the suede trim will also be behind the collar as a little suede turn back on your, on your collar. The third color, um, which I want to talk about is the um, blue, uh, which is a beautiful um, kind of a between navy and royal blue. And that's going to be piped in a very pretty, um, faux suede and that sort of camel color as well. And that suede color, as I mentioned, is gonna be the lining on the inside. So there's our evergreen. I just showed you that beautiful crimson red. Ginger, I believe is a color that is not available. I'm not sure if we can go on wait list here or not. I'll try and find out for you all. But that color sold out yesterday, as I mentioned. And then of course, I believe black is also gone. So uh, when we do a big deal, we have to be really, really kind of amazing with what that design has to be. So. I bring you a barn jacket pretty much once a year. Uh, it was a silhouette that Joan adored. She loved, she had a big estate up in Connecticut and she loved to walk the estate with the dogs and she liked to be outdoors in the fall. So she um, originally showed me a barn jacket that she had bought in London uh, from the same place where the queen buys her barn jacket. And I think she said it was about 1200 pounds. So if you do the math, that's an expensive <laughs> barn jacket. But she gave me that as inspiration. We have been doing them once a season, once a year, uh, ever since. So this is this year's uh, version of the barn. It is a 452-426. Um, it is uh, the big deal price of $92.36. And I'm going to do a little walkthrough on the color we call the crimson. So traditionally, barn jackets are a quilted, um, somewhat water-resistant uh, nylon or poly fabric. Um, sometimes I trim them in corduroy. Sometimes I trim them in faux suede or trim them in other fabrics. This particular style, I decided to trim in the suede. Um, keep in mind, when you see the quilting, this is something that I see in Burberry and Barber and all those really crazy, crazy expensive barn jackets. Um, they're now bringing the quilting straight through the jacket and making it the lining as well. So what you're seeing is that beautiful silky um, quilted lining. And if we come in close, I'm not sure I can, but I'm going to try to, guys. You'll notice the stitching is actually the, the exterior color of the jacket. So the stitching on that blue quilting is actually the red thread. And it's yeah, I think you can sort of see it there. So the elegance of that is really kind of amazing because that's what's going to be against your, your skin. And then I also want to point out, and I say always look for this in, in quality garments, look at what we've done for the interior of this jacket. Every single seam is piped in that beautiful red fabric. So no raw edges, no weird rough edges or things that are just cut and sewn together. It's all about the finish and the detail. By the way, I'm going to sneak and just give you a little peekaboo, something coming up in the show, uh, a fabulous new bee pin. I actually designed it to be worn on the barn jacket. I think you're going to really, really love that. It's our newest bee pin in the collection. And um, I'll talk about that when we get later into the show. A couple of other details to talk to. I love outerwear that doesn't look like a box, that actually gives you some shape. So you'll notice I've done really pretty princess seams. So you're going to see on front and the back of the jacket those slightly curved seams. And what they serve to do is shape the jacket. And when we do some of our model shots, you'll see that it's a, it's, a, it's a figure of flattering. Oh, here's some Bitsy shots. Here we go. So notice how the jacket is um, beautifully fit. Uh, a nice relaxed sleeve because you're going to wear things underneath this. It is outerwear. So you're going to put perhaps a flannel shirt we have coming up next in the show under here. Perhaps you're going to wear it with a fun turtleneck. Here's Bitsy just rocking different ways to wear this jacket. But you are going to find that the fit will be relaxed because it is outerwear. 
Um, I love Bitsy dressed it up with a faux suede skirt. Our girls are just wearing it very clean and very simple. You could certainly throw this over right now as we get into early September when it gets a little cooler at night. Throw this over your T-shirt. Keep this in the, in the car for when it gets a little cool as you're leaving work. Uh, it's a transition jacket, so it's a nice 100% poly weight. You are going to throw this in the washing machine if you can believe that. This is a machine wash by Diana. Um, so it's an easy jacket to throw on. We can see on Diana how it's giving her some very nice shape through the waist. You're getting that very kind of a slightly accentuated, it's not a boxier jacket. Um, ladies were asking me on my Instagram and on my Facebook, uh, do I need to size up because it is a coat? I think that's a personal preference. We were, I was talking with um, Pat Dementory about this when we launched yesterday. If you are planning on really layering this, if you're thinking, gosh, I'm going to put it with a flannel and I might put a turtleneck under my flannel, I might wear a sweater vest, I might, you know, I would say maybe think about going up a size. If you're thinking I'm going to wear it with a light sweater, I might wear it with the flannel shirt that's coming up in the show, I would stay to your true size with everything in terms of apparel at QVC. When you go to qvc.com, there is a sizing chart. It's so well designed. It's so easy to use. Click the chart, click your measurements, and it tells you what size you should get. We are extra, extra small through 3X here. So your sizing is pretty straightforward. And again, probably the number one question I get asked is, is the Jones sizing consistent? If I bought a medium two years ago, do you still make your medium the same way? The answer is 100% yes. Pet peeve for David is when the designers decide everything's running small this season. Well, that makes no sense at all <laughs> because you are buying this while talking to me on television and I want you to get it home. I want it to come out of the package and fit you. So we are very consistent. So if you have a barn jacket from four or five or six seasons ago from Joan, stay with the size that you love that fit you well. So if you were a large, continue with the large. A um, couple of other details I want to run through. Um, I love the little belt we've done on the back. It has an actual functioning snap, but the idea is here, it just gives you a pretty detail on the back, like the traditional barn jackets have those little belts. I made the pockets to be very secure. And by that, I mean, they are nice, deep, you know, one, let's leave that out of the way. Nice, deep, um, you know, hold your cell phone, hold your wallet, hold whatever you want to put in there, pockets. But and there's that faux suede, which I just love under, under the pocket flap. But then on either side of the flap, I did snaps. So what you're going to have is a very secure pocket. So you don't have to think, oh, God. Sometimes, you know, they design these barn jackets with the side entry pocket. And that's just to me like, hello, pickpocket, reach in and grab my wallet. So I put an extra fl a flap here, and I did it with secured with the two snaps. And then speaking of the snaps, all, all the options for color will have that beautiful antique sort of bronzy color snap. Very clean, very elegant. That's going to be um, a detail you'll see across all the colors. Let's talk to colors one more time real quick because I'm holding the crimson, which is trimmed, as I said, in that beautiful blue suede. You can see that color, gorgeous blue on the inside as well. I'm thinking of the gals who are the white jeans, um, you know, white jeans 12 months a year, uh, the Sun Belt, uh, the Floridas, the Cali North Southern Californias, where this would be your winter jacket. How fun that it's not dark and, and a winter color. How fun that it's a fabulous red and blue sort of spectator color. So I think that's for our California girls. Here is our color we're calling blue, which is trimmed in that beautiful um, sort of a, I would call like a camel color faux suede. And the lining would be the same thing. By the way, this model is wearing it with the sleeves down. If you like, you can turn that cuff back and it will show that beautiful lining as well. This is an awesome shot of the quilting here. You can see how it's, it's not a puffer. This is not a, a, a parka to go skiing in. It's just that nice amount of puff to the quilt that you get that sort of nice sort of barn jacket feel. Um, keep in mind, uh, the length is anywhere from 29 to, in the plus sizes, 33 inches. So it's bordering on tunic length, which is probably the longest barn jacket I've done to date. I like this for a little extra, uh, extra coverage. I like it for a little protection from wind. And, you know, if it's a blustery day, a little extra length is kind of a fun detail as well. I do want to show you, and that's, the, that's by the way, that's the evergreen. I do want to show you a cool, cool detail at the top here. 
I did, and I haven't done this on a barn jacket before. You'll see this little bar, that little U-shaped bar, and then you'll see on the other side of the jacket, this is funny with two hands, um, I did a little hook. So when it's that super blustery day, you've got the ability to really kind of make that nice and tight around your neck. So you'll tuck a scarf in and you'll have the ability to just hook that little hook up there and keep it nice and snug. Otherwise, leave it open, always pop the collar. That's my rule of thumb to always show that beautiful um, suede collar on the back. Um, and I think this would be that coat you realize, oh gosh, where has this been all my life? Why, where have, where, you know, how did I miss the barn jacket thing that's been going on for years? And as I said, Joan wore them and loved them. It is a classic American style. So I think that, you know, if you're thinking, gosh, I need that fun new transition for fall, uh, this would be the way to go. It is A452426. Coming up later in the show, a brand